Oh, hello there! And hello to all the nurse champions out there. I'm Nurse Cell, and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new here, thank you for watching and welcome to the team. Like I always said, another day to learn about OSCE and another day closer to becoming a UK registered nurse. If you are about to take your OSCE anytime soon, then this video is for you. So before we go through this, I'd like to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and become part of the team. Also, if you wanted to get notified every time I post new videos regarding OSCE, please hit the notification bell somewhere over there. I would really appreciate it and I'd be more enthusiastic to post more videos. Today we're going to discuss Oral Care Plan Station. That being said, let's begin. This is a silent station in which all you get to do is to write. This station is very new. It's just been added last November 2022 as part of the new NMC OSCE skill. You will be given 8 minutes just to complete this station. This oral care plan station got 4 different scenarios. We've got critical care scenario, learning and physical disability. We also got cancer treatment scenario and the last one, the end of life scenario. We are going to tackle all those 4 scenarios and also I'm going to give you my take regarding this station. Okay, I'm going to make a sample scenario and answer them. Alright, let's begin. I want you to remember that failure to recognize the aspect of oral care plan resulting into no action should result into a fail in this station. If I were you, you need to read the marking criteria. Again, over and over, I keep reminding you that the Bible for the OSCE exam is the marking criteria. This oral care plan is one of those writing stations in which the answers to your question or the care plan that you're gonna do is just coming from the marking criteria so why am i even discussing it why why won't i just tell you to just copy memorize and then paste it on your answer sheet well it doesn't work like that i want to discuss it to you for you to be able to understand what are you going to do because when you get your pin and you become a registered nurse and practice in the hospital, home care, and at the same time, the community, you're going to have the skill on how to do an oral care planning all the way from the beginning until you retire. Okay? I just don't want to just memorize it. No, I want you to understand so that you'll be able to have this skill as, as one of your assets or one of your best skills as a nurse, as a healthcare worker. Okay. For me, memorization is just memorization and superficial. But when you try to understand what this is all about and why you are doing this oral care plan, that's the best feeling and, and that's better because you're going to have this skill for the rest of your nursing career and you won't be able to forget it. Let's go. To achieve full marks, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of six aspects of care. For partial marks, which is equivalent to a fail, the candidate needs to identify a minimum of three aspects of care. So we don't want that. We want to um, write as many as possible in accordance to the marking criteria. So let's head on to the marking criteria, shall we? This oral care plan is about the critical care scenario. You're going to be given a scenario in which you're going to be making a plan for a certain patient named Ceres Jones. Okay, Ceres Jones. So what are you going to do on this station? What are you going to write as an oral care plan for this patient, Ceres Jones? The marking criteria is a bit much. They are all there. Right there. There's a bit many, isn't it? We're going to be dealing with just the keywords. So one by one, we'll tackle all of this and we're going to get the keywords, okay? So it would be easier for you to just remember the keywords and you know what to write afterwards whilst you're doing your exam. Let's make it simple, all right? So the first marking criteria is twice daily teeth cleaning with soft, compact headed toothbrush or a suction toothbrush. So what's the keyword in there? Toothbrush, yeah, twice daily. So I believe our first keyword for the critical care scenario is toothbrush. Again, remember this, twice daily, okay? Next criteria is twice daily chlorhexidine mouthwash. We use this to reduce the risk of ventilator associated pneumonia, okay? So again, the patient is admitted to the critical care unit. The patient probably is hooked to the ventilator. 
So again, twice daily. What's the keyword that we can we can add to our list? Chlorhexidine mouthwash. See, that's easy. Toothbrush twice daily. Chlorhexidine mouthwash twice daily. Keywords. It's simple. The next criteria is apply oral moisturizer to the oral mucosa. And of course, lip balm to the lips. That is every two to four hours. What's the keyword here? That's correct. Oral moisturizer. See how simple it is? That's our keyword. When we hear moisturizer, then we can construct a sentence around it. Apply oral moisturizer or lip balm on the lips every two to four hours. I just made it. That was easy. The next marking criteria is to minimize traumatic ulceration caused by the endotracheal tube by using specifically designed fasteners and bite blocks. And you have to make sure to alternate it side to side. So what's the keyword here? Yes, fasteners and bite block. Right there. Okay, next marking criteria is to use suction, obviously to prevent aspiration as required. Okay, so what's the keyword? Suction. Next criteria is to identify the need for regular reassessment every 8 hours. Okay, so an 8 hourly reassessment and doing oral care. Okay, last marking criteria is the candidate identifies an aspect of care that is relevant and evidence-based in addition to the prior criteria. Okay, that was given here. So if there's anything that you can add, Put it there again you need to identify at least six aspects of care to achieve the full marks if that's what you needed to pass this station okay so let's head to the example shall we Sarah Jones had been admitted to the intensive care unit due to multiple organ failure the patient is sedated and and the patient got an endotracheal tube in place and connected to a ventilator Write a care plan on how to provide an adequate oral care plan to the patient based on the scenario. You have got 8 minutes. Assume it is today. What is the relevant aspects of oral care that you would follow based on the critical care scenario? Okay, alright? So, at the front, you'll have this scenario and at the back, you'll have this one in which you're going to write the oral care plan. You have got 8 minutes to complete this procedure. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to pause this video and do it yourself. Also, time yourself to 8 minutes. And afterwards, you can click again the play button and you will see my take, my answer. I'm not saying that it's correct, but this is just my answer. Just in case I go to the exam, this would be my answer. Okay, again, this is just my take. Okay, it's up to you. And of course, you have to remember that the marking criteria, it's often updated by the NMC. So it's your responsibility to check and make sure that you know the updates, okay? Because you'll never know. Maybe you're going to be seeing this video and it's already been updated. So again, head back to the NMC site for that, okay? Okay, pause the video and do your writing. Time yourself for 8 minutes and once you're finished, go back to me. Play the button. Are you finished? Okay. This is my answer, by the way. Again, I'm not saying these are all correct, but this is my take if ever I'll be doing the oral assessment. Okay, here we go. Look at the screen. I will do an oral care by cleaning teeth with soft, compact-headed toothbrush or a suction toothbrush twice daily. I will use chlorhexidine mouthwash to reduce the risk of ventilator-associated pneumonia twice daily. I will apply oral moisturizer to the oral mucosa and the lip balm to Ceres lips every 2-4 to four hours. I will make sure to minimize traumatic ulceration caused by endotracheal tubes by using specifically designed fasteners and bite block. I will alternate the tubing from side to side. I will ensure to utilize suction to prevent aspiration as required. I will identify the need for regular reassessment every eight hours and just like that we are done with our first oral care plan making okay at least now you know how to do an oral care plan in a critical care scenario okay we still got three more scenarios to go but i'm gonna need you to head to the other videos in my channel be sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification bell just in case you want to get notified every time i post new videos regarding oske also if you have learned something today hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join our team
Good luck on your upcoming OSCE exam. This has been Nurse Giselle. See you on the next video. Bye!